the killer of cursor mind surf bold.new new kind of ai editor is back i'm talking about github copilot which is back with a bank of free tier yes you can use github copilot for free without any charge without any card just sign up and use it inside your favorite editor called vs code but why it can be the killer of these new age ai editors like cursor we will going to talk about the difference between the cursor and the github copilot so for that stay tuned till the end of this video because something amazing is coming so welcome to bitfumes i'm your host sarthak the founder of bitfumes a passionate content creator developer and devop expert who love to embrace the ai if you have any question regarding your project your career you can simply schedule a one-to-one -one call with me directly from my personal website called sarthaksavage.com So before starting this video, let's hear the announcement from the CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella. Hi there. We have some very exciting updates to share for our GitHub community. I'm super energized about this. Today, we are fusing the world's most popular AI developer tool, GitHub Copilot, with the world's most popular editor, VS Code. And we're offering a free version to more than 150 million developers who use GitHub. We're introducing GitHub Copilot free in VS Code. It's a real game changer. With Copilot free, you can use chat to explain code entirely in natural language. You can build with multiple models, selecting the one that works best for you. You can render edits across your files with multi-file edits. You can access Copilot's third-party ecosystem of agents. And of course, you can generate code completions, the core function that started the entire Copilot platform shift. Okay, so it is started with just a X post. Here on this X post, initially they have shared the image where we have the VS Code and the Copilot logo together, which was like teasing people that, hey, something big is coming. And then they announced this blog post, which says announcing GitHub Copilot free, a new free tier of GitHub Copilot available in VS Code. And there's a blog post link. Here's a blog post, which says everything about what this is and why this is going to be really game changing if you read this blog post you will get amazed because i am absolutely excited about the features which are available just for free i'm really really excited to work with the multi-file systems this was previously lacking in github Co copilot and that's why i moved from copilot to cursor but now it's available here so i should moving back to the copilot now you can also use different AI models like Gemini, Claude, GPT, even O1. The real game changing thing which I feel is this custom instruction. On your .github directory, create a copilot instructions.md file where you can define your way of writing the code and then AI will adopt that style and generate code according to the instructions you have given. But the real game changing thing is not that. I really love to communicate with the AI and that's with the voice and here we have the voice mode then in that case if I have a long prompt I don't have to write it I just say it it will be available and it can do the task for me that's the game changing part I was talking about and that's why I feel getting back to the copilot from the cursor now how you can use this thing it's very important to update your VS code. And once you update your VS code, then you just will going to see a new Copilot extension already installed in your VS code. And it's super easy. Just go at the top, click on this Copilot icon and you have a lot of amazing features which you can use. Start using it. But if you are using it for first time, you just need to hit the sign in button to use Copilot for free. Once you have that, then it's available for you. It's free, but with limitation. That's the point which is really, really game changing. But see, there is a saying, if something is free, the product is you. And this is the case also with the GitHub Copilot. So if you go to the plan section of Copilot, you see the free version with zero dollar 
is just having including to 2000 completions and 50 chat requests per month. I used GitHub Copilot for years. And you know what? This 50 chat requests, I can eat all these things in just one day. 2000 completions is not yet enough if you are working with large code base. And here comes the next plan which is pro plan for just $10. I'm saying just $10 because if you go to the cursor editor, they have a plan for $20. Although they are also providing the free tier, but you need the $20 to really get most out of this cursor. I am using cursor for last three months and I am sure that I will never ever going to use any other thing other than the cursor, but this Copilot features seems interesting, although free tier is still lacking this limitations, which I don't like at all. But pro version just for $10 compared to cursor is the game changing part. Why I am saying that this can be the killer of all the AI editors like cursor, mindsurf or bold.new. See, the biggest reason is Microsoft. Since GitHub Copilot is a product of Microsoft. It can give you a lot of free things just to make sure that all the competition will go off. The strategy of Microsoft is always like that. If something is working, create a product like that and kill that thing. It has done this with the Slack by creating the Microsoft Teams. It has done the same thing with many other products and it's doing same for GitHub Copilot. The next big reason is the connection between Microsoft and the OpenAI. So suppose in the future, Microsoft wants something crazy feature on their Copilot, they can directly connect with OpenAI to create a standalone dedicated model just for this Copilot. But other editors just rely on the general purpose LLM which other companies are creating. Next amazing thing is the pricing. Yes. Microsoft has huge money, obviously, everyone know. But, and with that, the $10 pro plan, they can continue it for years to kill their competition. And all these things makes GitHub Copilot so huge, so great that the new things like Cursor, Mindsurf will not be able to become huge and cannot give a direct competition to the GitHub Copilot until and unless they have something crazy which cannot be integrated in the GitHub Copilot in the coming future. So let me know in the comment section which AI editor you use. Are you a GitHub Copilot user or a cursor or any other AI editor user? Also, let me know in the comment section which GitHub Copilot feature you are really excited about because I'm excited about the speech one where I can just say and it will give the prompt by saying the voice mode I can say. I'm really excited about that. But what's your favorite? Just let me know in the comment section and I'm going to create video on that if that will be exciting. If you have not yet subscribed, go and subscribe to Bitfilm's YouTube channel for latest greatest AI updates and see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.